Create BIM Motion Virtual Reality. One of the best features of Twin Motion is its ability to create virtual reality game like files called BIM Motion. Since it is based on the famous game engine Unreal Engine, we are now able to create a live interactive experience of our design and walk through our villa as if we are playing a video game and it is so easy to do that in twin motion. Now let's learn how to do it. So here is our twin motion file ready and complete. We will simply go to media then BIM motion and we will press create start to create the start point of our digital model. That is the point where we will be standing when we start the game of our design. We will press create start and a start point thumbnail is now created. Notice that create start button turned gray now as we can only create one game for our project. Just like images and videos, we have the same options like rename, delete and reload up here. And we have a more button that let us adjust camera settings, localization, weather, lighting, depth of field, background and visual effects. And any adjustments in these will be applied to our video game BIM Motion. Since I have everything set good and nice, all I need to do is just create the starting point and move to the next step. The next step is simply go to the export menu, go to the BIM Motion icon and turn it on. We can press more for more options. Something like media list and that is to include the clips and shots we created in that game. We will learn how to access that from the BIM Motion game later. Let's check them all for now. For the free ride we will set it to on so we can move around freely in our project. And we will also turn physics on so when we are walking we can go up and down the stairs and landscape. And now everything is set. It is time to press start export. Press it, choose a destination folder and press select folder. Now give Twinmotion some time to create the video game of your project. On my machine it took less than two minutes to do that. After the completion of the export process, we will go to the destination folder and we will find a folder called BIM Motion, then the name of the Twin Motion project file. This folder we can send it to our client to allow them to interact in the design. No need for Twin Motion to be installed on their machine. It's like giving them a video game to play. All they have to do is to go inside that folder and double click bimmotion.exe and let it load. A quick note here, just like any video game, the computer specs may affect the quality of the graphics of that video game, so BIM Motion better be played on a higher specs computer that has a good graphic card and a processor. Another quick note, the size of that folder of BIM Motion is relatively big. For our project, it is around 7 gigabytes of hard disk space. Now this video game that is called BIM Motion can be viewed and played using the virtual reality gadgets like Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. If we searched Google for Oculus Rift, that's one of the best and most famous virtual reality gadgets that is indeed 
compatible with beam motion and twin motion as well. That will give very immersive experience to the design as if you are inside your building. The other option nowadays for virtual reality gadget is HTC Vive and that is how it looks like on Google. They are both the top two brands for virtual reality gadgets. If we don't have any of these virtual reality gadget, we can simply use our mouse and keyboard to move around our scene. Now after the game has been loaded, here we have our game started from the starting point that we set earlier in twin motion. So here is our villa and cars are moving around. Let's start playing now. If we click and hold the right click button of the mouse, I can look around the scene. If we press that Y button, then down there appears a lot of options that we can control. The first thing we might need to adjust is the settings, and depending on the computer you are using, the viewport quality is one of the settings that gets adjusted automatically. Since I am using a good and powerful computer, the viewport settings is now set to be very high. But if we opened this BIM motion on a weak or old computer, the viewport quality might be set to low, and that would be the quality of the graphics for this BIM motion game. So, depending on the computer we are using, we can adjust the quality to get the best performance, but for me now, I will set it to be very high. There are also some settings we can adjust, like camera sight height. If we are walking in our scene, our height would be 1.7 meters, and the speed of walking is medium. Let's press OK and start our experience. So just like video games, I will move with the keyboard arrows. Left, right, front, back, and mouse right click will let us look around. So we can move around to approach our villa, walk down the streets and around our villa with reactions to the cars, street curbs and all. Now let's say I want to enter the villa. I will move to that door, but it is now closed and I can't move through it and that is because I am in the walking mood now, just like a person standing outside the villa. But I can change my mood from walking mood to a drone mood. From here, click that drone icon and we are now flying just like a drone. In flying mood, we still have the keyboard arrows letting us move left, right, front and back. But we can now fly upwards using Q or page up button and fly downwards using E or page down button. If we are flying and we change the mood back to walking by pressing this icon, we will fall back and be walking again as if we are human walking. Check out the garage. People are talking here. Move around. Check out the seating area. Look around. Go to the backyard and check it out. Check out the pool and that fireplace, the kids area and everything we experience as if we are living in that villa. Very amazing and immersive experience. 
there are even more options that can enhance your experience, like changing the time of the day using that slider here. We can turn the daytime into night. And check out our villa at night with the automatic lights on. And check out how beautiful is that villa at night. Move around it. Check it out from the other side and all that is live and interactive and immersive, very useful in explaining design ideas to clients. Let's turn it back to day and check out more interesting features. One very cool feature is this camera icon to the right here. When we click it, it takes a shot and save it to the desktop. So if your client wants to tell you a comment about the design, he will simply stand and shoot using this icon and go to the desktop. And here is the photo saved as a PNG image. That play button will play what we have here. If we press it, it will take us back to the start point that we set in twin motion. But if we click on the start point, we can choose from all the media that we created in twin motion, whether it is images, videos, or panoramas. Let me click image 01 for example, and we are taken straight to that image. We can view all the photographic perspective of these images with all their settings. Whether it's camera settings, lights, shadows, weather, everything. And even if these shots were taken as a night shot, we can go through very nice photography of our villa using this menu here. We can also play the videos that we set in twin motion. Let's select clip 01 now and press play. And it will be played in BIM motion game just like we set it in twin motion. Here is clip 02 for example. And here is clip 03. Very beautiful way of presenting our projects on the spot. And here are more clips to be played in BIM motion. Another interesting feature here is that as we can change the daytime, we can also change weather settings. If we clicked on that daytime here, we can now change the sky settings from clear to cloudy to rainy to clear again. Another click on the same icon, we can change the season. Let me change the daytime to day while it's still raining. We can see how beautiful those rains on our materials on the ground. Let's set the sky to be clear now and let's go to the season settings and set it to winter. And now snow is all over my project and all trees and vegetation took the winter effect. We can set it to spring too, where trees turns yellow, and play however we like in weather. And that was how to export and use that virtual reality BIM motion game, 
an immersive experience for your architectural projects.